say it before I go. Not really. Can I have a little bit? I don't know. What do you Are you nervous? A little bit, you know. <laughs> Are you more excited than anything? Yeah. I think I have a good message to tell everyone. Well, I wish you the best of luck and we'll all be out there rooting for you. <laughs> Hells yeah. <laughs> It's hard to believe that four years ago, I was sitting at the exact same place you are. Ecstatic that the year was over, and I only had the summer left until I was free at last, on my own in the big city of Grand Rapids. Nobody telling me when I had to be home, when I had to go to bed, or to clean my room. So off I went. I thoroughly enjoyed my three years of total independence. I truly lived every day and got the maximum life experience while I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for the rest of my life. The first time around, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I had the ability to do anything I wanted to. You, the graduates of 2010, and I are more similar than you think. I'm starting over from a much different place than I was the first time. And I know you may be thinking, you already have three years of college under your belt. Well, in fact, I do. However, a new challenge has arisen. I have to go back as a quad. I will, be, I will have the same classes as everyone else, but I will have to figure out how to do my work around my disability. This time, I know exactly what I want to accomplish, but I have to do I know exactly what I want to accomplish. I have no longer the physical ability I once had. So I think it's safe to say we are all a little nervous and excited about our futures, and that's okay. You guys will be figuring out your independence and getting acclimated to your new surroundings. You will learn how to balance school with socializing while keeping a focus on your future. I won't be going to a city that I'm familiar with, but I too have to get acclimated to my surroundings because of my wheelchair. I will have to balance school along with the logistics of my care. My schedule will be much more time consuming than the first time because I used to just get up, pack everything, and walk to my class. Now, I have to have 24-hour care for everything from brushing my teeth, getting dressed, and getting my meds on time. Because what I've been through, I want you guys to remember that no matter what happens, you always have to stay strong and remember who you are and where you are from. And when the road gets hard, always remember there is tomorrow. If you just wait, a new day will come, and it will be better than the last. You're probably wondering how I can say tomorrow will be better, given my current situation. I can, because since the day the accident happened, I did get better every day. First, I had to be weaned off the ventilator and learn how to breathe on my own. I started with just five minutes. It was so hard. But my mom, the nurses, and the respiratory therapist, who happened to be one of my best friends, had, pushed, had to push me every day to last longer. When we were doing my exercises, my friend would talk, of you, talk about our friends and what they were doing, parties, and funny stories that were happening in our circle. It got to the point where I wasn't even thinking about the difficulty of trying to breathe. I was just doing it. 
I finally got to the day where I was breathing on my own, but they told me I had to stay on the ventilator at night, but I didn't want to. Suddenly the push that everyone else was giving me was inside of myself. And I was determined to lose a ventilator forever. The day I finally got off the ventilator was my mom's birthday. And she told me that was the best present I could ever give her her. The gift that I want to give you, the graduates, is that push. Know that it will always be inside of you when you need it. Now, one year later, I'm excited about the possibi possibilities that my future holds, just like you are. Coming to school here has shown me that photography is what I'm supposed to be doing. Being able to share my knowledge with the students has given me other paths to consider. In addition to my own photography, I know that I can influence other people's work. A few weeks ago, I was watching Glee, and I heard a song on there called Rose's Turn. A part of this song truly spoke to me. Well, someone tell me, when is it my turn? Don't I get a drink for myself? Starting now, it's going to be my turn. Gangway, world. Get off of my runway. Starting now, I bet a thousand. This time, boys, I'm taking the bows. So class of 2010, it's our turn. You, the graduates, are finally getting a turn at your dream, and I'm getting another turn at mine. So watch out, world, because here we come. But I might need a little help with my bow.